Hello everyone, and today we're going to talk about a new mod released on the Steam Workshop uh, just a few days ago, and it's called the First Triumvirate Remastered. So of course, uh, the First Triumvirate was actually, um, I've talked about this series of mods before, there was a series of mods for the original Rome Total War called Fall of the Republic Rise of the Empire that were based on, um, I believe, Rome Total Realism 5 or 4 gold something or other. And those mods, um, there was the first triumvirate included in Fall of the Republic Rise of the Empire. There was 58 BC, Caesar Imperator. There was 77 BC uh, that kind of had the Sertorian Rebellion and the Mithridatic Wars as the focus. Um, and uh, here we've got a new 58 BC type of mod here. So you can play as only a few factions. So um, there's Caesar, Crassus, uh, Pompey, and Parthia, and the Gauls. So um, let's get into this here a little bit. So you can see everyone has a unique um, victory conditions. So uh, Crassus has to destroy the Parthians, um, earn three triumphal arches, right? Um, Caesar has destroy the Helvetii, uh, earn three triumphal arches, and subdue Pompey to less than 25 provinces. And then Pompey has to eliminate Caesar and Crassus to maintain the Republic. So uh, this is really interesting. So, oh, and uh, Parthia has conquer Armenia as a victory condition. And uh, Gaul has unite Gaul as a minor victory and Ultimate victory is unite Gaul, eliminate Caesar, and hold Rome. So let's uh, start one as uh, Caesar here. Just show off some of the main aspects of this mod. So this mod was, of course, just released. So um, it's not like it's 100% finished or anything. And it's not like it's up there to the level of total conversion that Fall of the Republic Rise of the Empire 58 BC was, right? With all of its heavily... Uh, with its heavily scripted campaign, historical scripts, very character-driven campaign. Uh, I don't believe it's yet at that point. And uh, additionally, um, a lot of the units, I believe, are still vanilla, pretty much. So we've got Caesar up here, near Gaul. And we've got Labienus also. Near Gaul, we've got Greek cities around. Let's toggle the fog of war here. So this is an interesting campaign because it's interesting that it um, only has a few playable factions. So there are still a lot of factions on the map, of course. So you have the uh, Helvetii. Yes. So uh, no more Britannia here. The Brita Britannia is now the Helvetii. Uh, and they've got a lot of firepower here, that's for sure. Um, who else do we have here? We've got Pompey all over the place. And we've got the um, Iberians up in the north here of I uh, northern Iberia. We've got remnants of the Mauritanian kingdom as well as uh, the Numidians here. So it's... Uh, it's nice to see. You know, we've got, um, uh, not everything has been changed yet, so of course uh, there there are still some issues with faction symbols and things and flags, so you'll see Numidia has the Carthaginian symbol and the Mauritanians have the Numidian symbol, and I'm sure the Numidian symbol is going to change from this I here. Um, additionally, we've also got uh, Egypt, Ptolemaic Egypt, which is nice to see. And you can see Crassus in the east here. And in addition to Crassus, we've got uh, Pontus here. Pontus starts out with Galatia and Cappadocia as well at the start. Uh, that's just not right. Uh, Pontus should just start out with Pontus. Um, and the Bosporus, of course. Armenia starts out with Colchis and... Um, 
for Aspa, Armenia did have territory here uh, in the east at Paitakaran. Maybe for Aspa, maybe not. Um, but Colchis was its own kingdom at this point, or it should have been kind of... Yeah, it should have been its own, own kingdom here, so I don't think Armenia should control that. Uh, additionally, yeah, it would be cool to have these um, other major factions playable from the start here. That would definitely be good. I think that's probably something the mod maker might be thinking about for the future. We've, of course, got Germania, uh, Sarmatia, and Dacia here, so the Scythians have been renamed to Sarmatia. And, of course, we've got um, Parthia here, a little more significant right than it is at the regular start date of Rome Total War 270 BC. Of course, it actually makes sense to have Parthia on the map now. Um, yeah, so I have to say, this mod looks pretty cool. Again, the units are pretty much vanilla units. But, you know, uh, this campaign is definitely... Po you can make it with the vanilla units that are available, right? And it still looks okay. Uh, everything looks good. And I have to say, uh, this looks like an interesting mod, in my opinion. I feel like uh, they do have to do a little, at least a little bit of work on unit rosters, units and things, and... Uh, well, if they want to keep the vanilla feel, they don't have to. I don't think that's of prime importance. But, you know, adding some historical scripts, uh, making the other minor factions here, or other major factions here, playable, uh, like uh, De Deisha, uh, the Helvetii, the Iberians, Mauritania, making those factions playable I think would be really cool. Because, um, of course, I like playing as smaller factions. And, of course, Caesar here and... Perhaps Crassus, too. Um, I think that counts as small, a relatively small kingdom. So I think this mod looks pretty cool. Um, w once I have more time, I will do some gameplay of this mod. I'll follow its development. And I have to say, it looks pretty good so far. So this has been a little impressions video about um, the first Triumvirate mod, uh, 58 BC, for... Um, Total War Rome Remastered. So it does have a couple issues. I talked about them. Uh, some map issues, some uh, like Pontus controlling Cappadocia, some minor things. But uh, all in all, this mod looks pretty good. I think um, a lot of people might like this scenario, might like playing as Caesar um, here and trying to defeat Pompey or playing as Crassus and conquering the East and not dying. Uh, yeah, so, uh, if you like this video, leave a like. If you like videos about the historical Total Wars and their mods, consider subscribing. I've got a lot of videos up on the original Rome Total War, Medieval 2 mods, um, Shogun 2 mods, Napoleon mods, Empire mods, um, what else, Attila mods, Rome 2 mods. I've got my big review of Rome 2 up, my review of Rome Remastered. So, uh, and if you'd like to stay up to date on all the latest mod developments for Rome Remastered and the other historical Total Wars, subscribe and stay tuned. So, I'll see you guys in the next one.